Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily and with only 48 hours or so left in the transfer window, things seem to be hotting up, maybe, I hope so, we need a striker. Um, <laughs> one player who seems like he's coming through the door is Nikola Vlasic from Hajduk Split, the 19-year-old Croatian uh, under-21s under um, player has left or certainly been given permission to leave the national team uh, to hopefully tie up a deal to Everton for around £8 million. The player who played in both legs of the playoff for the Europa League group stages uh, can play on the wing, can play as an attacking midfield, can play as a number 10 and can play as, an, as a centre forward. Um, so it would seem... For eight million pound, that that team's good business. Obviously, a player who impressed Steve Walsh and Ronald Koeman in the two games. Uh, a player that's been linked with Arsenal and Tottenham and a few other Premier League teams in the past, but it looks like he's finally set to make uh, a move to the Premier League and, and with Everton, and um, hopefully to be involved in the first team squad. I know there's a lot of discussion whether he'll go into the under twenty three squad, but ah. From what we're led to believe, he will be in the first team squad, very much like someone like an Adam Ola, Adam Ola Luckman is involved. And um, so it looks like we're bringing one in anyway. Maybe it's not exactly what we need, but he does seem to be a player with a bit of pace, which a lot of people have been crying out for. So uh, for eight million pounds, it can't really be sniffed at um, to bring him in and, and and see how that goes. So that one looks like it could be done in the next twenty four hours. Uh, hopefully, not the last one. Um, obviously. It's very obvious what we need, and 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 it's obvious that the manager is trying to get that player in, and obviously Steve Walsh trying to get that player in. Whether they can get that player over the line, that is the issue. We've also been linked today. The BBC have reported that Cardiff City have turned down an inquiry for the Danish under twenty one striker Kenneth Zoha. Uh, there was a fee bandied around of a th of thirty million. Now he was um, he was. The top goal scorer last season for Cardiff, 23 year old, scored 12 goals. Um, but it's not someone I'm massively familiar with. Them, like I know the price tags have gone up a little bit this year. Well, I say up, they've gone up massively. But 30 million pounds for a player that I simply am not really aware of whatsoever just seems like madness and does seem like I mean that seems like a figure that's been plucked out the air. Uh, certainly, the club have only inquired about him. Um, yeah, it's not a name I want to be. It's not the kind of name I want to be linked with. If I'm honest, I, I you know, I'd like to see an established centre forward come into the club. You know, and for that kind of money, I'm sure there's other names out there you could you could get. Um, Lorente, this is another name Everton have been linked with today. It's come from ESPN, which isn't always a great source when it comes to football rumours. Um, but there's talk that Chelsea. And Everton are after Lorente. Now Chelsea been after Lorente for a very long time. They see it as a player that, you know, a second striker, someone you could bring off the bench, certainly, you know, to get them goals later on and, and with their hectic European schedule, very much like our own, a player could be, you know, effective in many games. I'll, 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 he's a he's a player that, you know, five, six years ago I would have loved at Everton. I'm not necessarily sure he'd be a, a starter for us. He had a really good end of the season. Last season, um, I think he scored against us, didn't he? And um, offers something, you know, a little bit different from what we've got. Um, I, I, you know, a, a big name in Europe for three or four years. I think he went to Juventus. Bit of a bit of a strange move at the time when he was uh, very much sought after. Didn't really suit suit the way he played. But he, you know, he could be another one. I'm not, I'm not sure that one would come off. But the way Everton seems to negotiate with Swansea, I, I think it'd take more than two days to try and get that one over the line. So. Um, there's a few names getting bandied about at the moment, so as I say, we're desperate, we're desperate, aren't we, to to get a striker in? Um, let's talk about some outgoings. There's a, there's a report tonight from quite a good Chelsea source that they've bid twenty five million pounds for Ross Barkley. Uh, we spoke about yesterday how they they're looking to bring in Oxley Chamberlain, whether that maybe have stopped them going for Ross Barkley, but it looks like they're going to go for Ross Barkley as well. Apparently, they're not put off by the fact that Ross Barkley. Could be out for up to three months and want to bring him in. Um, and it's on twenty five million. I think with a player left with a year on his contract, I think that wouldn't be the worst bit of business in the world. Uh, and then his future would be sorted, and we, and we can 
we can move on. We, everyone can move on, really. So, um, I think I think we've all sort of just. I think we've all moved on from Ross Barkley anyway because we all felt like he was leaving, and other players have come in and 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 have gone into his position. So, if that happens, I think that'd be a good move for him, and I think it would be a good move for Everton and just put a line under the whole situation. Um, because as I say, if he's out for three months and he comes and he's trying to get back into a team that. How already has established players in his position. I, I just don't think it's going to work, and it could be a player that could end up leaving in January for next to nothing. So, if there's a twenty-five million pound bid, I, I, I'd take it. I'd just simply take it. It's as simple as that. Um, we'll wait and see. I imagine he'll leave. I really do. A um, couple of other pieces of news today. Jordan Pickford has withdrawn from the England squad, and Mason Holgate has withdrawn from the England under twenty-one squad with injuries. Uh, Pickford's is a bit of a muscle strain. Hopefully it will be all sorted by the time the Tottenham game. I'm sure it would. England had four goalkeepers and I don't know if they were expected to start them anyway. In in basically, I think they play Malta on Friday. Yeah, they don't really need Jordan Pickford for that one. So hopefully that will all be sorted out. Um, and hopefully Mason Holgate will, will get himself sorted out as well. Um, and the last bit of news today is the Everton game against Watford. Sunday has been moved to Sunday the 5th of November and is now a half four kickoff. That's going to ruin your fireworks plans, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> or you can watch the match and go straight to the fireworks or, or do whatever. You can I just have like a big fireworks party at your house, watch the match, and then do some fireworks in, in, the, uh, in, in the garden or, 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 whatever, or whatever you have. Um, yeah, so that's all today's news. As I said, there's... Just a couple of days now till the transfer window shut. Will Everton get those players over the line that they want? Are they even in for anyone? Or are they just scrambling around, scrambling around desperately like a lot of people seem to think we are on Twitter? Um, it does seem a bit strange that we still haven't got in a player to play centre-forward when we desperately knew we needed one when we sold Lukaku. So, mm, it's slightly annoying, but... There you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, uh, thanks for watching Toffee TV. Don't forget, this is normally on Patreon, but for this week, all our Patreon stuff is going all out for free. So you can check it out and see what we're doing over on Patreon. So if you like it, click the link um, in the corner. And after I stop talking, if you like it, and get over there. And as ever, thank you for watching Toffee TV. I'll see you later.